Behold, a portrait by Picasso. A coastal landscape by the artist Paul Signac. A wistful young lady captured by William Adolph Bourgeau. April Fool. Not one of those paintings is what it appears to be. They are instead part of Faux Real, an exhibit of more than three dozen forgeries opening today, April 1st, appropriate enough, at the University of Cincinnati. They're all the work of Mark Landis of Mississippi, who's been donating paintings to small institutions for years. Matthew Leninger, the co-curator of the exhibit, discovered the first Landis forgery while serving at the Oklahoma City Museum of Art in 2008. I was outraged. I felt duped and um, felt like I needed to let as many people know about this character as I could. Leninger spread the alarm, all right, and found that Landis had offered over 100 works to at least 50 institutions in 20 states over 30 years. As Matthew Leninger demonstrated for us, the Landis forgery technique is betrayed under ultraviolet light. Those white areas reveal the spots Landis failed to color in sufficiently. And I don't believe that he is a bad guy. He really hasn't done anything criminal other than uh, wasting people's time. I believe that he truly feels what he is doing is honoring his parents and placing pretty pictures into institutions. And for any other museum that might be offered a pretty picture, Matthew Leninger has three words of advice. Exercise due diligence.